55 inch TV, two monitors, MacBook Pro 13 inch, the two power strip, and of course a sound, sound core Infinite Pro connected to the River 600 from EcoFlow, drawing 138, 136 watts of power, it will last one hour and uh, 80 83% of battery life left. And this is just a MacBook, a Mac Pro case with casters on it. So I can easily roll it around my office. Load test, USB-C 100 watts, power delivery port to charge another device, which is my MacBook Pro 13 inch. The state of charge is around 80%, so it's probably not gonna take the maximum power draw from the battery bank. Um, it will max out at 30 watts probably, and that is the hours remaining. We have a flashlight here and a reset button for the Wi-Fi connectivity. DC port here with the 12 volt regular uh, 12 volt port. I'm not sure if this is regulated or not. Um, well, uh, let's. Keep connecting more devices. This is a very old HTC phone. USB, uh, micro USB cable. Another anchor battery bank I just got. This should take about 10 watts of power. Five volt, two amps. Another type C, which I can use to charge my uh, tablet so there you go maxed out uh, all the ports here and we are doing about uh, 60 watts of output charging all these devices but there's no way I could max out the 100 watts um, power delivery port type C I do not have that kind of uh, power demanding device Okay, look, that's uh, 57, 58. All right, let's see uh, the recharging speed. Let's connect it to a uh, the AC cord. So we got a uh, AC port and a fuse. AC port, few, uh, 10 amp max fuse. And we got a solar port, 25 volts, 12 amps. Okay. So you guys need to do the math. It's like uh, 250 watts of input. Let's see. That is my power meter, kilowatt. Okay, the fan kicked in. Recharging started. Let's keep an eye on this number. Okay, it keeps going up. 300 watts, 300, oh, maxed out at 370.
Okay, and the thing says 350, 361. 328 there must be a little bit of conversion loss okay 169 yeah it is pretty consistent with the reading here and the load is only under 60 watts so if I'm gonna unplug one by one does it make a difference I'm gonna keep the MacBook Pro here which is doing, says, uh, that number is just inaccurate. It's never accurate. 30 watts. It says car here. I'm not sure what that means. A type C symbol is on. Charging at 200 watts stabilized. Here we have three, 234 watts. It's like, I'm going to unplug this, dropped a little bit, that's very interesting, okay, it keeps going up, it takes 37 minutes to charge at this rate, yeah, this number is fascinating, it's very interesting, uh, 200 watts, 171, 172, yeah, not bad at this speed, it's not too bad, okay, considering it is, on, it, it is a close to 90% of state of charge at the end of the charging cycle, of course, it's going to slow down, that is expected. The fan noise looks like uh, yeah that is exactly the fan yes that's the fan noise we got we got three AC ports here press to turn AC power on and off so AC is on AC is off. I would prefer a long press to enable and disable because it, it's just easy, you know, for you to do it by mistake and, you know, accidentally turn off your device. So it is at 88%, charging at 173 watts, 34 minutes remaining.